so we'll just boot this bad boy up and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. See it's five pins. It's quite unusual and I don't really know why they use five. But so be it. Now this is the knackered connector. Uh, it's just, you know, it's been abused basically, for want of a better word, so I've got to try and fix it. I'll just demonstrate. Oh, it's actually working for now, but then you see, it's just not reliable enough. And it feels quite wobbly, so it needs replacing really. Right, that's what they're like inside. Very small, and actually I didn't realize, but they come out by pushing, pushing that in pushing it through so I might actually try and repair it let's keep that in its little bag and I will try and repair the existing one we should keep that so now I realize how they are made touch wood you just push this through e push that through There you go. So that's good news. That is good news. So this connector is very small. It is 7.21 across. So it's very small and I've got to desolder it and then solder it back again. That came off nice and easy. So what we need to do now is to trim some off the wire. down to here now let's try and pre <coughs> tin the soldery job What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put a bit of heat sink, heat sink, heat shrink on there. Um, that may, may affect how easily this shenanigans goes back on. <coughs> Excuse me, but we shall see when I find some. Un momento. Got a bit of heat shrink trimmed off. That on there. On there. Whoa, straight on. Straight on like a beauty. Now we carefully cut the red wire to the same length. Right, hang on, I'm gonna put the heat shrink on first. If I can, yep. It's all good, we'll use the master flamethrower on minimum. So that's the first one done. Now, uno secondo. Uno secondo, por favor. Come on, right, first we need to detach it from the jobby.
So I want to cut it exactly the right length. Just take off what we need. Heat shrink. Going on, hopefully. One has to be soldered onto there. Just going to take a tiny bit off. Tricky bit. Oh. oh, look at that. Beautiful. Straight on. Let's get that heat shrink on there. Gently does it. Gently does it. Gently. Heat shrink over there. Okay. That is the uh, repaired connector, we hope. So now, now, touch wood, this will go back in here. I have to be careful putting this back in because if I break the wires, I've just wasted a load of time. Right, I've actually got it to fit in without that metal clip, so let's slide this over. And screw this back on. Hmm, maybe we're not going to be able to screw that back on. Don't want to end up twisting the cable. Right, let's see if that works anyway. And I'm very pleased to report it works perfectly. You can see where I couldn't quite manage to get that shut. Maybe because I'd used heat shrink on the inside and they hadn't on the, when they'd originally done it. So yeah, both working. And that is the tiny five pin XLR connector. Sweet. <laughs>